and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Journey to Eternity. That's right, we're playing a Golgari Eternity deck here on this Throwback Thursday, Wednesday edition stream. Throwback Thursday decks are, are where I take uh, rares and mythics that didn't see play in Standard too much and that are rotating out next week and build new decks around them. It's my cat, Hawkeye. Um, and so, yeah, we've, we've been playing some really good ones. So we had a uh, Boneyard Parlay earlier that worked really well. And then Golden Guardian, the Gruel Golden Guardian deck. That was really cool also. So we had two really good successful decks earlier. If you're watching this on YouTube, hope you check those out as well. Plus, if you go to the, pl there's a playlist on my YouTube channel that has all of the Throwback Thursday decks. We've probably done like 20 of these, maybe 30 so far, probably like 20. And so, like, where we just build around these cards, and it's it's so much fun. It's my my favorite playing Magic here. So we're uh, to we're doing it again for a couple of decks tomorrow. <laughs> Hawkeye's like, no, I'm I'm in charge. Uh, but uh, for today, uh, we got you know we have these three. So now we got Journey to Eternity. All right. So if you don't know this enchantment, three man enchantment. Whenever you put it, you know, enchant a creature you control, and then whenever that creature dies, you return the creature back to the battlefield, and also you bring back Journey transformed as Atzel, Cave of Eternity, which is just an amazing land. You can pay five, tap it, and return a creature from your graveyard back to the battlefield. So, of course, we could go with the elementals with Journey to Eternity, you know, like your Risen Reef and your Cavalier of Thorns and all that kind of stuff that we usually do. Those cards are just incredible. I wanted to go a different route, though. I wanted to go... I just wanted to play the eight discard two drops. So we got four Burglar Rats, four Eurox Fen Lurkers. So the goal here is to play one of these two drops, make them discard a card, and then Journey to Eternity, our two drop. And then uh, we use Play Crafter to sacrifice our two drop. Or Golgari Queen, we can tick up and, and sacrifice it as well. Or we also have like Masker Girl that can destroy our own creatures as well. So like those, or a Cavalier of N Night, you can sacrifice it as well. So, so we have a lot of ways to get it off the battlefield and flip Journey to Eternity. Journey to Eternity, you, know, you get to activate this land instant speed. And so I wanted to have this where um, we can get back these discard creatures at like their uh, draw step like we can actually like let's say like let's say we we get to the point where we have um you know like a burglar rat in the graveyard eternity has been flipped and they uh they don't have any cards in hand so we can just go draw step get this back uh you know like after they draw their card make them discard their card and then if we have Vraska like in play then we can just go to our next turn we just tick up sacrifice the rat <laughs> again put it back in the graveyard and then their next draw step do it again and we could just you know go infinite like where they they just never get to play their card ever just every single uh draw step <laughs> so so that could be really cool um <laughs> yeah uh besides that uh we just got like some other good golgari value stuff um you know, Branch Walker, Jaylight Ranger, other good cards to uh flip with Eternity, kind of same thing with Chupacabra um oh liliana we can minus and sacrifice our creatures also we can also cast finality to kill our own creatures so we have a lot of stuff to kill our own creatures vivian just helps us dig finish out games so this will be fun to play let's give it a try it's definitely going to be a deck we're going to be grinding out our opponents so we're going to be playing through a league we'll see pay our thousand gold see if we can get to five wins before two losses <clears throat> um yeah i mean i i don't like three mana to fairy but i'm not like hoping it gets banned or at all it's it's in standard but it's kind of whatever but i i don't like the card too much yeah we could have called it w way back wednesday for today i like throwback thursday wednesday edition though because i mean that's i mean really what that's what we're doing is we're doing throwback thursday decks the reason why we're doing this on Wednesday is 
because we're going to have rotation next week and there's just more cards that I want to build around than slots we have on Thursdays. We only have one more Thursday tomorrow before rotation, which is a week from tomorrow. <laughs> this will definitely be a great journey to a dream. Do you think the ley line of anticipation and blue overall would be a nice take on Journey to Eternity? I'm not sure. You have to play, you know, to play the ley lines, like that takes up slots that aren't creatures to bring back with Journey and not really ways to get rid of your creature. I know you get to, like, they use a removal spell. So, like, so the plan with that is they use a removal spell, and then you flash in Journey to it to eternity on it. I it's not reliable. I I would rather just have like my own ways to get rid of my creatures basically. And while 3 mana to fairy does make um does make journey to eternity pretty bad how it can just bounce the creature, it makes leyline of anticipation just a completely dead card. Here we go. Burglar Rat being a two for one. My brow, I have just That's the goal. Trick for this. So I don't really like Leyline Anticipation too much. So they're shocking in there. I'm guessing this is probably a chemist's insight or an, or an opt. Yeah, Fenlurker's cool. See, we're just running them out of cards. Maybe I shouldn't have kept Fenlurker. Demon of Catastrophes? Yeah, Demon of Catastrophes could fit in here. You are, of course, forced to sacrifice a creature for Demon of Catastrophes. And then all you really get is a 6-6 six, six Trampler, which... A 6-6 six, six Trampler is good, but I guess if, if you compare it to Doom Whisper, the Doom Whisper costs one more, but you don't necessarily have to sacrifice something. And you get the whole Surveil stuff, too. Even though, like, you don't mind sacrificing things at times. Wow. Counter my fan lurker. Jerk move. <laughs> this deck is just like a. Death by a, lot, a, a thousand paper cuts kind of deck. You show remorse, I'll show restraint. I've got time. Hmm. You want me just to have Chupacabra? To be able to kill stuff? Okay. All right, what's their last card in hand? Exile that. Ah, oh, just a land. Um. We have the Cavalier of Thorns, or sorry, Cavalier of Night. I, I am just gonna play the Chupacabra back. I've got it. Well, really glad that I played that Chupacabra out here. 
I guess. Hmm. So the safer play against removal is to have them both attack Little Teferi and then have Playcrafter kill Big Teferi. That's the safer play against removal. They drew a removal spell. The higher upside is just having both of these killed. I could just attack the Big Teferi and, and double pump. And then we can just attack this Little Teferi the next turn. And we can just save the Playcrafter for something else. Yeah, they didn't this draw no removal spell. Defeat. Don't worry, I got this. I know my responsibility. That's more like it. Alright, so if they have a wrath effect, we get back Branch Walker. The past keep an open mind. That should work, Donk. There you go. Stop killing my fen lurkers. Man, if only we can draw Journey to Eternity, the game will basically end. We can go Journey, play Crafter. Why do they have to draw Absorb right before I draw Vivian? for a break. We will meet again. All right, just trying to grind him out. Jade lights. How much life have they gained? They've gained 10 life. Two absorbs and two moment of cravings. I know 88 put thoughtfulness before action. Oh, then also this thing, gaining them life. They've gained more life than that. Probably gained like 13 life. Company. Well, opponent, super smart. Not grabbing a card with Narsec, because then they would have just had to exile it. I'm expecting my opponent to play like Nicol Bolas Dragon God. Or something like that. One, two, three. 
That's really annoying. Against my deck. That's really annoying. Be gone. I'm go I'll be back. Just you wait. So I can play Massacre, Massacre Girl or Pump two more times. When was the last time they drew a card and it wasn't a Planeswalker? I guess when was that Absorb? I guess that's the answer. It's only a matter of time. Exile that card. That's right. That's what you get for not just playing your land first. Gets exiled. Draw something good. No. They they draw land. Two turns in a row. We got lethal the next turn. All right, not way. not lethal yet. Or, you know, don't. I would like to pay two. Playing two did make it so playing uh, the Masker Girl was annoying. Hooray! Fen Lurker finally getting it done. No, we have yeah, we have three we have three eternities. So yeah, we had we had three eternities. Three Vraskas, the two Lilianas. We never saw any of those. We didn't see. We saw one of the two Vivians. Didn't see the Fine Broker either. But yeah. Oh, I, I don't know if opponent's deck was just 60 cards or more. I don't know. All right, so we get these Duresses and the Command with Dread Hordes. Definitely want both of those. Veil of Summer. They're not. They don't really target things. Definitely do not want Masker Girl. The thing is, like, we did get to Chupacabra, a um, Cavalier of Gales. 
So it's not like Chupacabra was terrible. Getting rid of that Cavalier of Gales was nice. Maybe they bring in more creatures here. Like maybe they bring in like Lyra Dawnbringer and stuff. I just have all the Teferis though. I think I should I should I trim a journey? That is true. They have, yeah, they have the absorb, so Veil could be useful there. But of course, if they have three mana Teferi in play, then our Veil of Summer could just be stuck in our hand. Journey to Eternity in this matchup is like game if it flips, but it's going to be difficult to get it to flip. Yeah, we got we got three Vraskas in here, yeah. Good old burglar rats. Discard those cards. Wow, we got rid of a bacon. That could be worth a lot of life. Get ahead of myself. No bacon for you. Thank me later. Oh, here goes nothing. A Teferi deck. How original. Enough. So yeah, I, I am planning on using Golgari Queen to kill the Teferi, but still Ha! Got rid of Cavalier Gales. These are little rats. I'll protect you. But still want to keep appearances up. Hmm. Really wish we had that duress last turn. This is just a really awkward turn here. Okay, no counter spell. Resolves. Leave the Golgari now. So, I really should have seen that coming. Pity we couldn't have been allies. Pass. No. Ugh. I'm known. We need to move quickly. Hmm. Leaving the body. Well, the fairy's really good. Hold that thought. Would have been a reason to play that duress. Just drawing that duress when we had the the four mana was just so awkward. So at 20 life, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, probably just 10. Do I really need more burglar rats? Yeah, let's, let's grab a burglar rat to sacrifice. 12. 
Sorry I'm late. Um... It was probably going to die anyway. Rats. I've done the hero thing before. Hurry! <laughs> Alright, can we find Journey to Eternity? So it gets shuffled into their library, then I scry to? That's... Neat. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. Plague Crafter. Let's try this. Coming through clutch. Yeah, our deck's cool. Didn't get to journey to eternity though. Look, like that deserves a black cat. <laughs> yeah, you have Golgari control. I am not making this up as I go. Everyone is expendable. Mm. Okay, they're ripping another wrath. They need another wrath to stay alive. Trust me, I have a plan. All we have to do is just do one little point of damage to them. We made our opponent discard like five cards from their hand that they, you know, they don't have any cards left. We got like an extra like five cards or so. I just got rid of the Vraska. We're gonna get Vraska back with the Fine Broker anyway. This next turn. All right. Well, they're not dead. Yet. Let's slow this down. Not so fast. But still not dead yet. Yes, I should. I should have drawn first. This might be a bad yeah, idea. Didn't matter. I don't really need to protect from a counter spell anymore. Protect from one removal spell. There we go. So unfortunately never got to draw Journey to Eternity. That would have been like flipping Journey to Eternity in that matchup would have been insane. It would have just been GG. Oh, is the audio bug going right now? 
I did take a while to sideboard there. All right, so I'll reset. Get rid of that audio bug. If you're watching on YouTube, click the you can click the 30 second fast forward button. I feel like Raska Emblem is going to be <clears throat> the way we're going to win a lot of games. Because our, our creatures don't hit very hard at all. But we're just trying to grind out the resources for our opponent. So yeah, I feel like it's going to be a lot of Raska Emblem. Yurok Fenlurker looked really, really strong in that match. With that pump ability, you know, like it just... You know, we got to such a late game state that, you know, we we're activating it four or five times. Our creatures don't hit hard, but they hit right. Okay, what do we got? All right, good little hand. Fenlicker is one of your, your favorite cards. How's the deck lineup tomorrow? We got uh, Jeskai Hero and Orzov Value as two donation decks. And then I'm going to be doing two Throwback Thursday decks for the other two. I know I'm going to be I'm going to do an Invocation deck with built around Sunbird's Invocation and Vivian's Invocation. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the other one yet. Maybe Azor the Lawbringer, if I can figure out some way to use Azor the Lawbringer. <laughs> Arx Jelly! Loving the throwback Thursday bruise. Uh, thanks, Arx Jelly. One of my favorites, too. That's why we're doing a Wednesday edition, a Throwback Thursday. Hmm. If Massacre Girl works to clear the battlefield and everything, Vivian can be a really nice card advantage engine to help us pull ahead. Let's let's try it. I think that's better than a random draw. Oh, it's definitely Thursday. Yeah, we're doing throwback Thursday today. We're just doing the Wednesday edition of Throwback Thursday. So playing the Burglar Rat means that they are not going to be able to just <clears throat> use a removal spell on this 2-1 to make it so Masker Girl doesn't wipe the battlefield. Okay. So my opponent knows all the creatures are going to die, and yet they still use the cast downs. So that's cool. We got a cast down also. So they got four cards. I got four cards, but I have five lands and a Masker Girl, and they have three lands. Jeskai Azor fe featuring Crucible of Worlds, Memorial of War, some flicker, flex, flick, flicker effects. 
clear the mind and smothering tithe. I should have played Yorox Fenlurker first. I should have played this first. So they they don't know what I'm what I'm gonna be doing. See, our deck just grinds down their cards. They have three lands and one card left. <laughs> like nothing going on over there. I should have played this for us because we could have maybe hit another Fen Lurker, which Wild, is double black. Can't stop nature. That's fine. I have cast finale for ten. Yep, I did cast finale for ten. And get back is like in a wild growth walker deck and just got back tons and tons of explorer creatures. It was like and it was like perfect it was like perfect too, because I I don't remember how many explore creatures we got back or, or anything, but more like my opponent was like gonna kill me with a bunch of like chain whirlers. And I was at, like, a really low life total. like, And I think they may have even said good game, maybe. And then, like, I top deck, and it's, like, that to uh, bring back all that stuff and and gain tons of life. Because I think, I think they had, like, a burn spell in hand, and I was at, like, one, and they had, like, three chain whirlers. All right, anyway. Let's choop some more things. Let's get some Legion's Ends in here. Masker Girl looked pretty good. I guess we got Golgari Queen to take out Soren. Hmm. This isn't the best Playcrafter matchup. But if we flip Playcrafter... Or sorry, if we flip Journey, though, if we can use it to help flip Journey. But, I mean, we can just flip Journey anyway. Alright, I'm gonna try taking out Playcrafter and Vivian Reed. Darn it! I was like one second too late. Hopefully there's no sound bug. This is like the I heard the the rope sound started. Oh yeah, the new green legendary artifact looks incredible. The Great Henge. I mean, it, it it's so good that, like, Cavalier Thorns may start seeing some play. You know, like, maybe you'll get, uh, maybe even some Nyssa or Hydroid Crisis. You never know. Card's so strong. You know, those, those poor cards that haven't seen, haven't been seeing any... Standard play at all. They're finally going to get their time to shine now that there's a reward for ramping in green. <laughs> Jeskor as Jeskai Azor land destruction featuring smothering type. All right, have a good night, Wavathor. Wow, we made them discard champion, and they had Soren. Oh, you will taste my blade. Yeah, we still made them discard champion. RX Jelly is is the is the sound bug going right now? My bloodline flows through you. Yeah, they, they may have just top decked Soren. That certainly could have happened. Ooh.
Hmm. Yeah, I guess they probably did. They probably had champion, champion, uh, Legion's End. Uh, join my crusade. I wonder why they just shocked first, besides just playing that, drawing cards, and then seeing if they want to shock or not. Alright, looks like I need to play your Ox Fenlurker last turn instead of Legion's End. I don't, I don't like having any outs here, do I? I mean, I could Chupacabra, kill one thing. But I'm still bad. Creatures are too big for Massacre Girl. Uh, like Chupacabra kills one, then chumps, and then Golgari Queen kills one, but like those hits, like we're dead then. Okay, so they shocked to trigger the the, the Knight of the Ebon Legions. You can still they can still make that decision afterwards, though. But I guess they just wanted to do that no matter what. In that case. All right, on the play. You know, when they get the two Soren activations before I can play Golgari Queen to kill it, it is rough. Journey to eternity. This is our first time drawing this card. Journey to eternity. We finally drew it. So I want to get Journey on Jade Light more than on Branch Walker because they have Legion's End for... Um, they could have Legion's End for Branch Walker, but they don't... They can't Legion's End Jade Light. Journey to eternity. We finally drew it. We finally drew it. So Golgari Queen can kill Soren if they got Soren. We have a pretty good hand here, but if they have like a really busted hand, you know, they can they could still beat us. I want them to not have that be the case. And they already had turn one knight, turn two Adanto Vanguard. Please don't have turn three Soren into champion. I feel like they're holding up Noxious Grasp. Oh. Or not. 
Or not. <laughs> yeah, real good runs today for our unique decks, for sure. Wow, they're still attacking. They're like, I'll just... I'll just take the six, bring it on. No worry, I got these two champions. They're going to do damage to me. I mean, do I just... Golgari Queen minus, make them pay for life? Sounds pretty good. in my wake. My, I grow bored with this fight. I can just put it on Jade Light. Or I can put it on Burglar Rat and make them double discard. So let's. By sacrificing the Burglar Rat. Here we go. Journey to Eternity. Flipped. Atzel, the Cave of Eternity. We got we got the Cave of Eternity. Man, look how cool that looks too. Just like the just like Golden Guardian. That looks really cool too. Yeah, discard another card over there. Yeah, the Vanguard. That one's gone too. Now we gotta start bringing stuff back in some speed. Hmm. Your corpse will make an excellent minion. Sacrifices must Let's draw some cards. No, Pona, where are you going? You don't like me drawing lots of cards? I want to hit more land drops so we can journey to eternity. All right, we're two and oh. We are two and oh. <laughs> yep. Well, I didn't really have things to bring back yet, so that's why I need to. Sacrifice or need to Yeah, I want to sacrifice the burglar rat get that over there All right, we are two and oh <laughs> best deck 2019. Thank you. Thank you All right land heavy, but we got the temple So hopefully temple of milady can find a spell for me You know, I've been watching uh, Pearson, a new USA show. It's it's really good. I am like six episodes in. I mean, it's it's a new show. It only has like nine or ten episodes right now. I've been really liking it. Yeah, Playcrafter is good. Against stuff. It's always kind of tough. With the... Oops, that's not going to come into play untapped. The turn one scry when you don't know what you are playing against. Can be tough. You're on Monty Python Holy Grail for the 127th time. 
Which 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 one was the best time? Out of those. Was it like the 36th? 45th? You can find all the decks there on the Stream Decker page, or if you want to see the Gru the uh, Gruel Guardian list in action, you can also check it out on the YouTube channel as well. I lead the Golgari now. No, I am not going to minus on Fibble Thip. Alive for a life. We're about to have infinite playcrafters. Journey to Eternity, we're going to have playcrafter every turn. Make our opponent sacrifice a creature or planeswalker every turn. Lizav. Why sack the playcrafter? Because I want it in the graveyard to bring back with Cavalier Knight. I probably should be focused more on like just killing my opponent than what I am. I guess this is like the best way to start killing them. Good. Pity we couldn't have been allies. This fibble tip's pretty annoying of making me sacrifice making me have them sacrifice their stuff. There we go. Journey to eternity. Sacrifices must be. Bring back the playcrafter. Sacrifice the playcrafter. Don't really want to find broker. Cause I just wanna leave I wanna leave this in the graveyard so I can just pay five mana to tap this, just play crafter. So like <laughs> they play something, gets play crafter. They play something, gets play crafter. If it's if they play two things, I go Gari Queen to kill one and play crafter the other. <laughs> I'm known for my excellent timing. This is pretty Not sweet. So fast. Get play crafted. I can do this all day. Don't dwell on what's about to happen. It's probably better to be playing like Fine Broker and getting that back and, you know, doing other stuff, but. It's probably better. But I just want to activate Journey to Eternity. Alright, well, good turn for the opponent there. They get to stay alive for another turn. Oh, all right. 
because they don't don't care to play it. So yeah, we kill the cat this. Kill something else. Make them jump block with the other thing. Okay. So this is definitely a Command the Dread Horde matchup. This is definitely a Legion's End matchup. Duress also good. I don't really need Massacre Girl. We can trim a Liliana. Trim a Vivian. Find? Yeah, I can probably get rid of Find, so we're just playing Command instead of Find. Hmm. Alright, what else are we doing? Blue Dream Scheme! Getting that Twitch Prime sub in here. Thank you so much there, Blue Dream. That's our 10th sub of the day. Hit our sub goal. No, I, I really like the discard stuff against them. I think that could be really good. Especially the, the Fen Lurker. Um, I think that like the Branch Walker Jade Light maybe we don't need as much of. Maybe I just need like two Legion's End and two Branch Walker and maybe we cut a Journey again against a Teferi deck and then uh, find a Broker or Cavalier. No, we'll go with find Broker. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, thank you so much, Blue Dream. Turn it into a favorite streamer. Oh, thanks. Glad to have you here. Yeah, we're having a real good time with these decks. These are these are my favorites, building around cards like this. Mentioned this earlier in the stream. I think I'm planning on... So after rotation, we, we won't need to be doing Throwback Thursday, right? Because then these cards will rotate out. So what the plan is to do then is to... Yeah. Do I take Veil of Summer? Tamio. I'm going to basically do the same concept, but do it on Tuesdays, and we're going to call it Tuesday Bruise Day. Like B R E W. Bruise. Thanks, no ceilings. Yeah, Fibblethip Planeswalker would be good. I hey, getting a legendary Fibblethip, that was already a that was already pretty sweet. Yeah, we got the two new formats coming too. I'm not sure if I want to do like like I'm gonna be playing the formats, but I'm not sure if I want to really do like uh you know like Brawl Wednesdays, for example. Or Or just, like, you know, play Brawl decks sometimes and other ones. I don't know if I want to have, like, a specific day set aside for the different form, for, like, the other formats. Like, honestly, maybe. You would, I think you will find my notes helpful. Honestly, maybe. Oh, so the Veil of Summer is in their graveyard now. Maybe it's better to do, like, you know, still do them kind of any time, but, but definitely have the, the certain days for them, though. Maybe that's better. Yeah, yeah, we're having bra Brawl. Uh, as far as I know, it's, it's right when the release of the new set is, but not sure about that. Oh, thanks so much, Zedalum. Thanks. You know, have like historic Wednesday, Brawl Thursday, or, you know, stuff like that, so that people can kind of plan. Let me aid your research. You know, people that really like those formats can tune in. But then, but then again, if like, if we have like, let's say like Brawl Wednesday, and then there's like a lot of people that don't like Brawl, it's just an example then maybe you won't have people checking in on Wednesdays as much. Right on schedule. 
you know, maybe where if I I have a plan. Or if I would just, um, or if I just, you know, like stream every day and I just play four decks and sometimes, you know, like they're brawl, sometimes historic, maybe that would be better. I don't know. Hmm. I know I noticed this somewhere. No, the, the donation deck we had today was the Jeskai hero deck. You can tell the donation decks have the two Ds next to them. These other ones were decks that I built. I wanted to build a Boneyard Parlay deck, a Golden Guardian deck, and a Journey to Eternity deck. And so that's where, that's where we're at. Don't worry, I got this. They've milled over a ton of lands, which means they likely have some spells in hand here. So my opponent's trying to set it up so they just, you know, play like Excavator, play Cathis, play play Mox Amber and just go from there and just win on like one turn. I know, right? There could always be more um, land destruction spells. Sorry, yeah, Cruel Guardian was built around Golden Guardian. That was the card that was built around. No Cathis, no Cathis, no Cathis. <laughs> feel like doing a baby back commercial. I want my no Cathis, no Cathis, no Cathis. So there is a Cathis in here, right? Yes, there is. There's no other Mox Ambers. No other Moxes, right? Yeah, so they're dead. I think that I think that, that means they're dead. Yep. Trust me. You'll thank me later. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to Legion's End this thing. Legion's End this thing. We're going to play this. No, let's cry first. That's actually really good. Alive or alive. Perfect scry. We're going to play this. Discard that to fairy. Attack this to fairy. There we go. 3 and 0. Oh. Journey to Eternity. Crushing it. Man, really good day today. Really good day. Yeah, our deck is unbeatable. <laughs> uh, do you have in mind a new version of Team or Hydra? Um, 
Ooh, yeah, Questing Beast definitely instead of Phoenix. Yep, absolutely Questing Beast instead of Phoenix. Yeah, that could be a, a, a good deck to visit with. Yeah, Questing Beast is perfect with Kiora and everything. Yeah, that, that fits there perfectly. Teamer, you get uh, double temple. You get blue-green and blue-red temples. So it doubles up on blue. <laughs> I didn't expect this deck to do so well. That's a lot. Of, that's what a lot of my Throwback Thursday decks. Kind of sneaky good. Hmm. I need to stop playing Temple on turn one when we don't know what our opponent's doing. Should just play like Overgrown Tomb, I guess. But it's just it just works out well curve wise to get that Temple in play. But it's like it's like I don't know. Chupacabra could be amazing if they're playing like a whole bunch of creatures, or they could not have creatures and it could just be like a dead card. So I don't know. You think this is Simic Flash? I think it's probably a Risen Reef deck. Could be Flash, though. It's looking like a Growth Spiral deck. Could be Nexus. That would be really bad. Yeah, no problem, Samuel. Yeah, that'll, that'll be one. I'll be a good one to um, check out after the sets up. Uh, I don't know if I'll. I mean, it's. Yeah, we don't necessarily grind out this our opponent's deck. Like, counter spells are the great great equalizer. If I'm playing like two for one cards, like Chupacabra, well, if it gets countered, it still it just gets one for one. Fenlurker is a good draw. I can go Fenlurker and find this turn. It's like Fenlurker. Okay, I was going to say if they countered it, then I'd be able to go find and return both creatures. Just have the one card in hand. Could be a counter spell. Could also not be a counter spell. We'll have to see. Man, if this is a wolf, I wish. Wish I could go like Burglar Rat plus Cavalier of Night. All right, baited, baited out the wolf. So we get to Cavalier of Night, the wolf. Alright, so we got that. 
would have been even better if we would have drawn a land, though. We could have cast Finality. Just wiped up the board. That would have been even better. Yeah, I would like to draw a land. We could do... We could go find Chupacabra, kill Spectral Sailor. That's not bad either. What are you doing drawing a card right now? Are you kidding me? I guess they wanted to see if they had drew like exactly opt. I'm just gonna make you discard it now. Just done for. All right, our deck's still great. Let's get in all these duresses, Vela Summers, Legion's Ends. I don't have instant speed removal for Wolf, so I won't need my opponent to just play Wolf during, uh, you know, during my combat step, so I can kill it afterwards. Again, I need more of that. So this is 68. I mean, if we flip journey, they lose, but I think we have to, like we have to like resolve a creature, then also resolve journey on the creature, and then also have the creature die. That's kind of a tough call. That's a lot. That's a lot. I guess is what I mean. Let's just cut this top end. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I think I think there's less Veil of Summer in the format now than there was. Like for a while there was just so much Veil of Summer everywhere. Just kind of where like Veil of Summer and Shifting Ceratops. Remember everybody was like, oh, there's a lot of flash, and so everybody's putting a bunch of like shifting ceratops in their sideboards. Now there's not, now it's not really a thing. All right, Cavalier Knight or Vivian Reed? We're putting one of those two back. Vivian's better if it resolves. Probably. Probably better. But I, it's probably a better chance the Cavalier resolves, but Vivian's probably better. That kind of hurts. I like Vivian more as a card than Cavalier of Night, so you know, gave it some like bonus points. I wanted to keep it, but going with the uh, likely smart play, but who knows? Good thing I put the land at the bottom. I thought we would draw we would draw some more lands.
Yeah. Yeah, this is this isn't really a, a deck post rotation. The yeah, um, what we're doing here is we're kind of building around ro rares that rotate out. I. Man, I have to spend four mana for my Chupacabras. They get Chupacabras for two mana. That's pretty good. So I like keeping that on top anyway. I like the Jade Light being a 4-3 in face of Trickster. Wow. They are not scared of this Legion's End. That is somebody who is not scared of a Legion's End right there. Still my best play though. I could just jam go Vraska and hope to draw a two drop. You know, I think they either have Wolf or Frilled Mystic. <coughs> if they have Wolf, I'm pretty dead. So I'm going to play this. It's better for this to get Frilled Mystic. Okay, maybe they're just shocking for the Spectral Sailor then. Gosh, I really wanted to double spell. with Legion's End here. Why am I not attacking? I should be attacking. Why did I attack last turn? I take four. They take four. Like, we're trading four back and forth. Before, it was just me take two, and then they take zero. Oh, gosh. Uh, the rope sounds going again. All right, I'll after this match I'll reset arena again. I have had to have some happy kitties. To find another Legion's End. I'm 
This would be a good time for Massacre Girl also. I don't have any Massacre Girls in here though. Not bad. Got to draw removal for this other Spectral Sailor. So they attack me for two down to one. And then I have Playcrafter that can kill one Sailor. Really need to just draw Legion's End. Need to just draw Legion's End. Nope. That doesn't help. All right, we're going to game three. I really do need to cut Journey to Eternity here. Do I play Liliana or Massacre Girl for my last card? Let's go Lily. Yeah, I, I don't mind rats either. Yeah, you know, they do get to just eat rats a lot of the time with like, you know, flashing in Trickster or Wolf or anything like that. Maybe the girl. Massacre Girl's definitely its best at taking out those 1-1 one -one flyers. Alright, hopefully we can go under them. I'd like to draw like Vela Summers, Duresses, Legion's Ends. Let me sideboard in a bunch of those cards. It's better than drawing a land. Your card. Seriously? They get to draw Veil of Summer? some crap right there.
All right, well, we got a Veil of Summer. Let's draw something good. Let's draw something good. That is really good. I'll take it. That gets to kill the wolf. Yeah, just went like this in case they flashed in a wolf. Please no wolf, please no wolf. Yay. Alright. No wolf, that's good. Hope they just have a bunch of counter spells in hand. Roxfen Lurker. <laughs> this is a wolf. This whole this whole guy's like, ah, it's a wolf. Yeah, hopefully they just got a handful of counters. Because of course we are ahead here. Yeah, exile that last card. Exile that last card. What is it? Ah, uh, just a forest. No, I upload I upload to YouTube right away. So the other three decks are all uploaded to YouTube already. As far as I know. Um I think that's a keep. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, I start the uploading right away. Because I can't really... Because, you know, it takes like an hour to upload. And after I get done streaming, I don't want to stay up long enough to like have all the... You know, start uploading like the videos then and everything. And then it's also like middle of the night. So. <laughs> Thanks, Ali. Yeah, that's that's a pretty genius system, I guess. Yeah, I'm uploading and recording content at the same time.
find Broker. We'll get back from Jade Light. Do some more surveilling or exploring. They're down to five, though, so they can't just... You know, go all out attacking Golgari Queen. You know, we get to kind of test them, see if they pull up a counter spell or not. I mean, yeah. That's gotta be game. Do they have Ether Gust? If so, why don't they just put the. No. No Ether Gust. Okay, let's see what else we get. The wilds are my shield. More Fen Lurkers. So how much mana I got? Fenlurker, Fenlurker, Chupacabra. I don't get to play Playcrafter. And no wolf for them. They don't have the mana for a wolf. Ah, they had a wolf. Don't get to play it. Geez, and we are four and O. Oh. Bogari Eternity, still unbeatable. Here we go, final boss time. Let's go. Let's get these final boss emotes. That was a tough match. We got there. <laughs> Thousand X Golgari at Eternity decks on ladder go. All right, where's our final boss playlist? Our third time today, making it to the final boss. Here we go. Oh, restart client, restart client. Cancel. Sorry, the, the sound bug's going. Gotcha. Yeah, final boss with an extra life. We got to we finished out the 5-0 with Gruel Guardian earlier. Hoping we get to again with Golgari Eternity. Yeah, Waffle, just just remind me gotta remind me earlier. Then, you know, basically as soon as like you see the match ending, because the chat's delayed, of course. As soon as you see a match ending and if the, the sound bug's going on. But don't tell me like before, because then I'll forget. You know, because obviously y'all told me like during game one or game two of that, and I forgot. So basically, as soon as the match is over, like whenever like they're the victory or the defeat thing is coming up, be like, reset, sound bug. Okay. Anyway, let's get to Journey to Eternity. Some cool stuff here. I would like playing against the control deck, where we get to like. Where we get to draw Journey to Eternity and flip it and just get to activate it a bunch.
Yeah, our throwback Thursday decks today are are 13 and 2. That's like top baiting a GP. Are those still a thing? I don't know if GPs are still a thing anymore. That's kind of a back in my day we had GPs. It's like a Cary Grant reference. Yeah, Grand Prix. They used to have those back in the day. Like Woodstock was a concert back in the day. All right, well, the hand that I kept is not a hand that is good against Mono Red. All right, looks like we got Rakdos. Rakdos, Snackrifice. Not to brag, but I'm totally the best pyromancy student. Go get him, buddies. All right, well, we need to draw something to do here on this turn three. Basically, any of my two or three mana cards I'll take. Like, literally any one. We'll be fine. Like, literally any one. Saving that Firebrand to kill my Jade Light Ranger before it explores. Smart. Okay, never mind. I completely forgot about Playcrafter in our deck. All right, never mind. There was one. <laughs> Not literally anyone. Never mind. There was one that was bad. Uh... Never mind, we actually found one that was bad. I know, I, I know what I said. I was wrong. I was wrong, Hawkeye. You showed me the error of my ways. I know, the deck the deck gave you what I asked for. See, I was thinking your Ox Fenlurker, Buglerat, or Burglarat. Uh, like getting rid of you know like getting rid of the last card and like trading with the firebrand. I was like, all right, those are cool. Like branch walker, jade light, those are good. Oh geez. That's Don't worry. That's just like I lethal. I guess Journey to Eternity would not have been good either. I think my out is so I go I go Golgari Queen kill Chandra. I need to draw fifth mana, and then I go like fifth land massacre massacre girl. I'm out I don't even just Chupacabra the Mayhem Devil next turn. Weak.
We've saved... We've saved, like, what, five life now? for By them not attacking with Firebrand? If our opponents just attacked with the Firebrands, we would have, you know, would have taken two and then two. Now one here. Could be an important five life. We draw a land, we can find Broker plus Fenlurker. If that's not a law firm name, I don't know what is. Find Broker and Fenlurker. This call is from the offices of Find Broker and Fenlurker. I guess the heart fire of the cards weren't with us, though. Hmm. I guess we have to take out Playcrafter. Which means I want to play some Duresses. I don't need to play three Journey to Eternities. I don't really want to play more Massacre Girls. Maybe instead of this Vivian, a Massacre Girl. Get one Vivian. I guess one Liliana is better than one Vivian for this matchup. Alright, here we go. All right, so I kept a really, really slow hand, which, you know, for this matchup, we got killed. I, did, I kept a hand that didn't play anything before turn four. But now we know what we're playing against. We know not to do that. And our deck didn't really help us out either. Drawing Plague Crafter as our three drop. I know. That's yucky, Hawkeye. Plague Crafter. Alright, game number two. Much better. Much better is it just me or is my opponent's been really slow this league Uh, it takes a lot of packs to complete the new set, basically because of the mythics. Getting like if you want if you want like four of all the mythics, it takes that takes a lot of packs. That's difficult to do. Discard a card. My opponent was like, but I did it mulligan. I'm like, well, now you mulligan. Down, 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 down.
I'll take this. It's going to make it harder for them to activate Priest of Forgotten Gods. Or not. Full of firebrands? <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, they're so cute. They're going to make me sacrifice my burglar rat. Yep. Smart play there cuz you get to draw your card. Hopefully nothing to do with that mana, just pass the turn, hopefully. Alright. Ooh, good draw, good draw. I was planning on just chupacabra the Chandra. But I like getting that that card out of there first. Or, sorry, I was planning on going Golgari Queen Chandra. Darn it. Well, there goes Chupacabra. Say hi to my fiery friends. I should have just done this last turn. Before I make I am not happy right now. Three man shot are just so good. That's a lot of lands to sacrifice. Don't flatter yourself. It's a lot of lands to sacrifice. Oh my gosh. Gosh, can we just get a land? Hmm. The problem is they could just play a bunch of, like, one toughness. Or, like, they could play a bunch of more creatures here, like where Liliana Minus doesn't actually take these things out. Maybe we can follow up with Masker Girl this next turn. Stop having that card. Hey, don't start any fires without me. Ugh. Yes. Oh, thank you for attacking with the 1-1. One, one. Thank you for just letting me gain that 4 life right there. I really appreciate that. That was a very necessary 4 life for me to have. Darn. We did not get... 
the land for Liliana. I know they would have been able to do get the three triggers with Mayhem Devil, but I'm getting Bantu out of here. At least we, we'll either get Devil or Chandra. One of the two will be gone. And then we'll play Fenlurker, Branchwalker to be able to have two blockers for Bantu. Maybe I'm not cut out to be a monk. Exile a card from your hand. And hopefully Branchwalker finds us a land. So one. So if I play Masker Girl here, it's like it, they get minus one, and then the Fenlurker dies, so minus two, and then Branchwalker dies, so minus three, and then Mayhem Devil dies, so minus four. But then four doesn't kill either of these other two creatures. So if I keep Ma Masker Girl on on top, they kind of know to play around it and everything. So ditching it. Hopefully they play some more creatures. There we go. Do not attack with everything. No. Ugh. So that's nine damage. A lot of damage. All right, good. They didn't have anything else. If they had a land with Firebrand where they got to block Cavalier and then... <clears throat> that would have been bad. Is this going to... This is going to kill my... Um, Dreadhorde Butcher does zero damage because it gets the minus power. This is going to kill whatever we put into play with Cavalier, isn't it? I think it's going to kill whatever gets put into play here. Maybe not. It's not. Ooh, they're getting Bantu back with three lands, and they didn't hit a. They didn't play a land last turn. They're just gonna exile the Bantu with light up the stage, like if if they want if they cast this light up the stage, it just gets exiled. Is that oh that's not match? Darn it! That was just game two. I thought that was the five zero. Hmm. No, I'm not. I'm not DJ. Dark Dubs! Getting the Twitch Prime sub in here. I'll get some hype votes in the chat for our new subscriber. Thank you so much there, Dark, for that support. Okay. Do I play this extra Duress instead of Liliana? Or instead of Journey to Eternity? I 
kind of want to play this duress. Oh, thanks, Dark. Yeah, I like, like playing lots of different decks. Um... <laughs> yep, that's all we need. Life gain. I'm sorry, Journey. We're going down to one. We still got Journey to Journey in, in the, our deck, though. It's still in the deck, so we're still good. But we're going down to one. But yeah, thanks for the kind words, everybody. Thanks. Uh, I'm really glad to have you all here watching the channel and everything. Yeah, I like playing lots of different decks because... You know, some people like their Jeskai deck, some people like their Golgari deck, some people like their Gruul decks or Sultai or, you know, anything else. Yeah, Liliana is pretty expensive here for sure, but... The rest of our deck is, like, interacting and everything, trying to slow the game down, and we do need a way to kind of go to turn the corner and, and win the game and everything. The Cavalier of Night was just incredible for us. We really should not have won that game. If they if they don't make an attack with like a one one, we wouldn't have won that game. We wouldn't have had that extra four life that we needed. Yep, it is, Gabrielle. We will keep our hand fifteen to twenty six. I thought they were taking a long time. Twenty six so I've taken less than four minutes in two games. Stop. Stop trying to attack. Okay. Well, so no, no Chandra with RBB for the mana base. Someone the more, the messier. I wanted to play Fen Lurker, but then I decided for the ability of trying to look for land drops, it's better to play Branch Walker here because we're going to need land drops. I shouldn't have played the Woodland Cemetery first, though, of course, because we could have hit Temple or Overgrown Tomb where we wanted where we wanted to play untapped. But, of course, I played the land first because I was just going to play Fen Lurker and changed my mind there. Thanks for the free kill there. My friend is here to help your pain. Well, welcome back, six one nine. Every time I hear this thing, I catch myself saying Hadouken multiple times. Oh, Fenlurker. <laughs> Thank you so much there, 619. Alright, what do we get rid of? Dreadhorde Butcher? So definitely could have Chupacabra and Mayhem Devil, but if we if we draw a land, you know, we get to Massacre Girl the board away. There's the Gen gonna let me just kill that thing. <laughs> 
Swamp, swamp, swamp. Swamp, swamp, swamp. Do, 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 do. Swamp, swamp, swamp. Do, 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 do. Swamp, 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 swamp. Ooh, getting the block. All right. We've been up for seven hours. Like, been on. We've been streaming for seven hours. Right, they got one card in hand. We're gonna have them get rid of it. It's Chandra. That's what I thought. Chandra's the best card. So that's gone now. Looking good for us. They have two devils, three sw three swamps, and a mountain. It's an odd pairing. That's an odd one, two, three there. Choop. Tilt. This guy killed Priest. I guess the day's your lucky day. Do not want them activating Priest and drawing more cards. Pity we couldn't have been allies. So they probably have Chandra in hand. They're just not playing anything. It's probably three mana Chandra. The double red. It could be Bantu. You know, Bantu costs five. But we're getting our Cavalier of Night, which is telling our opponent good night. How is Chrono Cross? I never played Chrono Cross. That's so good. It's very emotional when I was like 12. Have we even played Liliana? I guess we did one time, didn't we? Ooh, not Chandra. All right, so we're going to let's go and play the the Find Broker. You know, how often do we get to play Find Broker? We'll just two for one ourselves. Let them kill a couple branch walkers. So the storyline's heavy. How 
Okay, you can come say hi. We did it, Hawkeye. 5-0. High five. High five-o. 5-0, -oh, Hawkeye. Ooh, we got 20, 40, and 20 gems. So many gems. We need to get our uh, victory fan for our playlist going. Put Hawkeyes in the way. I can't see it. Come here. Move. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Golgari Eternity. Update that record. GG's. So yeah, this deck was sweet. It was a lot of fun to play. We, I was really disappointed. I guess, I don't know about really disappointed. I don't know if that's like the correct words there. But I was, I'm slightly disappointed for how much we got to actually play Journey to Eternity and really do, do something cool, Journey to Eternity. We did a little bit, but not very much as far as um, five matches are con concerned. But honestly, Burglar Rat and Eurox Fenlurker were incredible. These cards were so good. Like, they just worked so well, especially with, like, you know, like, making them discard, make them discard, play crafter, you sacrifice them. And they just did a whole lot of, like, little chip damage that, like, my opponent didn't want to, like, actually spend cards to deal with. And just, you know, like, annoyed the opponent, got to, like, take, take down some planeswalkers, stuff like that. Hey, no ceilings. Now no ceilings. Now you get those, those GGs now. Um, oh yeah, I bet these creatures are great with with Soren also. Yeah, with four mana Soren, keep bringing them back. Yeah, they were awesome. Golgari Queen was awesome. This deck's pretty sweet. So, if you think about things that don't rotate, the explore creatures rotate, and so like that that's like the real thing in here that rotates are the two explore creatures oh the chups yeah man chupacabra is so good that card's just so good i'm gonna miss gonna miss some chupacabra but all right so that's golgari eternity awesome awesome throwback thursday stream today uh wednesday edition we'll be back at it tomorrow again if you're watching this on youtube uh don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons of course like always and leave some comments. Let me know what y'all thought about the decks today. And if you didn't see the rest of them, go uh, go over to that playlist where we have all the Throwback Thursday decks. Check out that Gruel Guardian and the Sultai Parlay deck. They were both really sweet. Um, yeah, check out those videos as well. Uh, but there we go. So uh, thank you so much for watching some Golgari Eternity. And I'll see you for the next video.